Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today, what I'm going to be doing is a little bit of like an organisation cleaning video. Basically, I want to go through and clean all of my makeup drawers out. I don't think I'll probably be chucking anything away because I have my collection you know exactly how i like it and i literally do use everything that i own a lot of my drawers are okay but there is a few which really just need a little bit of like a clean and sorting out i want to go through and i want to clean my palettes because my palettes are dirty um i need to wash all my brushes you know all that i need to go through my kit and get out brushes that need to be washed and sponges and i need to disinfect some stuff um, because I'm not doing clients at the moment, so I can have like a deep clean in there. Um, what else do I need to do? I don't think there's anything else, but I'll probably just kind of pick up the camera as and when and we'll show you guys what I'm doing because I like watching organisation videos. You are currently on my phone because my camera battery has run out of charge. So it's on charge at the moment, so there might be a bit of like a switch in quality and that will be when we come off my phone and go onto my camera but yeah this is basically just going to be a little bit of like a nice chatty organisation video for you guys because I thought it would be something that I was doing anyway so, so why not just film it. Right so we're going to start with my kit. disinfect and clean all my palettes. 
palettes. So these are all of the palettes which I keep in my kit. Um, I just have like all my cream products, some contours and then eyeshadows and then I literally just take my spray. Give it a shake and you want to spray it about this far away. You don't want it to go really quick. Just do a test spray so you get it in a rhythm and then just spray. Over your palettes like that you want to leave these for maybe like 10 15 maybe 20 minutes and you want them to be completely dry before you shut the palettes down and some sponges at the bottom these are all clean i think but i'm going to put them in and give them a wash just in case just to freshen them up and i have all my brushes at the bottom and i haven't washed these since i done my last client so i need to wash these so that is a job for tonight Right, so I'm now just going to clean up my desktop because it's a bit mucky. So this is kind of like the setup I have from just doing some makeup. So I'm going to put my palettes back. This is where I keep all of the palettes which I use on a, well, not on a daily basis, but these are like the palettes which I reach for the most. I also have like a whole drawer of palettes so if you'd like to see like a palette collection I actually have those palettes and all of these palettes so I could film a collection video if you want one then this is a drawer I need to swap this lip drawer it needs a bit of organizing everything cleaning all that so I get some really like harsh stains as you can see build up on this work surface because obviously I'm constantly using different products and stuff and they just stain so I like to use this, give it a good shake and then I just spray it on any harsh areas of product which build up. Um, and then it makes it so much easier to clean. Oh, I've got a bit here as well. I don't know how this gets so dirty, but because I do makeup and obviously it's white, it's just not good. Also, I've done this this morning. Don't know quite how, but this is. Um, lipstick <laughs> Fuck it out. right this angle's not the best but i'm basically just going to sit down and now go through my eye drawer because i had a little bit of a um, situation yesterday um with um loose powder and this happened These drawers are all fine. I've just like gone through and cleaned that a little bit. This drawer's fine. Now we're gonna just sort out this drawer. So I want to go through my lip liners and I need to organise this a little bit better. And these have lost the order that they were in. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll come back. Right, so I have just done my lip drawer and I've done my cheek drawer and I'm so happy with the layout. 
so I'm gonna quickly show you. Firstly, I've changed this up. This sits on my desktop and I just had all my Jeffree Star liquid lips in here, um, but I've changed it that I have a row of Jeffree Star at the back. These are the ones that I use the most. It's really annoying that one's little. Then I've got my YSL lipsticks, um, Charlotte Tilbury, NARS, Urban Decay, and then a row of my most used MAC lipsticks. Um, so this is just gonna sit on my tabletop because they're the ones that I reach for the most so it made the most sense to have them where I can see them. Then when you go into my lip drawer I have this layout which compared to the before just works so much better. So I have this is the lip cream that I use um, I swear by it. It honestly is the best moisturiser for your lips ever. Um, so I have so many tubes of this but I just like to keep one in my drawer. So I just keep them on top of my lip liners. I've moved my lip liners forward because I've started getting into lip liner a lot more. So I wanted them at the front. Then I just have my Jeffree Star lip scrub, which I love. Um, I've changed it up here. So here I have drugstore lipsticks, which I use more often. I then have all my NYX liquid lipsticks. I then move my Paw Paw lip tints to the front so I see them more, so I'll use them more because um, they were at the back of the drawer so I just weren't getting used. Then I put my tall lip glosses down, laying down flat because they were um, standing up but I changed that. And then these ones are like the shorter ones um, that most of them have like, they're like clear with like highlighting. Then I have back here um, the remainder of my Jeffree Star ones and then just in case just in case I need them but they aren't getting used on the everyday so I've just moved them back in there. You open this drawer up. This just works so much better. Um, I put my powders at the front, highlights here, blushes. I then have small little palettes in here which were like all around here um, but I've managed to fit them in here. Bronzers, my Jeffree Star highlights and then here what I've done is I have my Be Perfect palette out but my Jeffree Star one was right at the back and I was just never using it so I've managed to fit it that it's now at the front and then I have my two misguided highlighters um, misguided are such a good brand of highlights can you tell which one's my fave? <laughs> so yeah that just works so much better so I'm really really happy with now um, my makeup like set up so if you would like to see a full makeup collection let me know in the comments down below and I can film like an in-depth one um, and show you all of the drawers and what's on the top and all that kind of thing right so it's been about 20-25 um, minutes so I'm now going to go along and shut all of these down and um, put them back in my kit so sorry for the really big bad lighting but this is just the setup. So I'm just going to quickly show you guys how to clean your palettes. Um, this is just like a quick tip. So this is my um, James Charles mini palette. This is what I have in my kit and it's the palette I use literally on everyone. Um, but obviously there is a lot of build up of product and stuff that like from like the fallout and stuff. So just take a makeup wipe and take a like a this kind. So I thought I'd film doing it on my big James Charles palette. This is like very much loved. So just like I said, take your product like that and then just wipe and it picks up. Your product. 
actually it's with one hand because you should really hold the other hold the palette with the other hand but and then just go across it like this and this just saves so much time and look at all that and just look at that palette now literally look brand new tea break I'm now going to go downstairs and I'll take you with me and we're going to wash the makeup sponges because I put them in the microwave. I know that sounds weird but just watch, you'll see. So these are what the clean sponges look like. There's a couple which I've been used so much that obviously there's still a bit in there, but they're so much better than what they were. My favourite are these Morphe sponges. I love them. Next thing we're going to do is clean this mirror and this mirror. These two. And this stuff is literally the best stuff for cleaning mirrors. It's the Star Drops Window and Glass Cleaner. I'm going to clean my window while we're at it. But this stuff is so good. So good. Right, so another thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean all of my tweezers and stuff like that. So basically I've just got a jar and I've put hot water in here. And then what I like to put in there is some Johnson's Baby Shampoo. This is what I clean my makeup brushes with. So just take some of that and just stir it into the water so it bubbles up a little bit. rubbing alcohol spray because this is obviously a good disinfectant and all of that so just spray I don't know, like 10 15 sprays and again just pop that in there like that then I'm gonna get them out of my kit So we're now in my bathroom, put the light on, and I'm gonna wash all of my makeup brushes. So basically, I've got a lot of makeup brushes and I've been putting this off for a few weeks. So this is Gracie! This 
literally takes me hours. So what I normally do is I just put my laptop in and put on my toilet seat and then I'll watch YouTube while I do it. So the pots and all that that I have is I basically have this pot which has got all of my makeup brushes in it which aren't Morphe. So these are like all my random ones. So I've got some Zoeva, Mac, So Sue, those kind of brands. And then I have this big pot, which is the James Charles collection. And this is all my Morphe brushes. I got this for Christmas and they're literally my favorite brushes. So I wanna do both lots of these. And then um, I wanna clean the tub out. And then I have my pro makeup brushes. So this is my makeup brushes, which I have in my kit for doing other people's makeup. And these are also all Morphe, apart from this brush here, which I want to replace with a Morphe one so that they all match. Um, yeah, so I love these. I'd really recommend these if you're um, looking for a kit brush set because it literally just opens up and sits like this. It's perfect. So I'm gonna do my makeup brushes first and then I'm gonna do these ones because these ones aren't as big of a brush, but obviously I wanna do mine and to clean the containers as quick as possible. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put the camera down and try and angle it and then do a, what's it called? Time-lapse. Coke, because I'll need a drink. enjoyed watching this video if you would like to see more like this in the future just let me know down below um cleaning videos and organization videos are probably my favorite to watch on youtube so if you would like to see more let me know in the comments down below also while you're there give this video a like help a girl out <laughs> it does really really help um and if you want to do another thing and hit that subscribe button it's right near the like button down there so hit that hit that post notification button and that will notify you every time that i upload a video at the moment there is three videos a week but dependent on if i make a busy or not it might just be two but definitely on a wednesday and a sunday at 5 p.m and um fridays at 5 p.m if i can get them out also so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and i will see you very very soon bye Thank you.